For years now, Telltale Games has masterfully exploited our fear of making the wrong decision. Their games tell you that every action you take has a consequence, then light a fuse and watch as you stumble over impossible decisions. But when you're Batman, the world's most cool, calm and collected detective, Telltale's emotional manipulation shouldn't be as effective. Decision paralysis holds no power over the Dark Knight. Therein lies the challenge. How do you make a character known for being decisive and infallible falter? Telltale's solution is to shift the focus away from Batman and dig into Bruce Wayne instead. A decision that proves to be the right one. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! Episode 1, Realm of Shadows, effectively makes the man more important than the hero and provides a strong start to the series. With Harvey Dent running for mayor and Bruce as his most vocal backer, Gotham City is on the verge of changing for the better. Together they threaten the status quo, where corrupt city officials are in the pocket of criminals. The citizens of Gotham may not be sold on Dent, but they hold the Wayne reputation and word in high regard. This dynamic is what Telltale plays with to create tension. Many of the choices in episode 1 aren't matters of life and death, but they still weigh heavy. You're forced to choose between what you personally think is right, what you think Bruce Wayne would do, and what you believe will help Harvey's campaign. Do you shake Carmine Falcone's hand to secure his support, potentially tarnishing your own reputation, or do you turn him away, knowing that these same hands are drowning Gotham in crime? The nagging knowledge that choices and actions have profound consequences pull you in different directions and make you second guess. The situations may be understated, but they're full of drama. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host? For the most part, the cast of characters are familiar. Alfred is keeping Bruce Wayne from being consumed by his crusade, Harvey Dent is the hand reaching into the darkness to pull Gotham out, and Selina Kyle is a selfish thief with a little good in her. But there are elements of them that have been reimagined in subtle ways. For some it's their personalities, for others it's their relationships. One notable character is completely reinvented and will play a pivotal role in the story, but it's ominously unclear how. Bruce, meanwhile, is in the early stages of being Batman and more emotionally unsettled. This means dialogue responses can be used to create the type of Bruce you want. You can be aloof, self-centered, optimistic, or brooding. But since Telltale's excellent writing has a way of making it difficult to roleplay as a single type, you're more likely to get a mixture of all of them. The emotional variety paints a Bruce that hasn't hardened yet. Instead, he feels human and genuine, and this extends into his crime-fighting alter ego. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. This may be a Bruce Wayne story, but when the going gets tough, the tough put on a Batman suit. Telltale has built Batman's gameplay around conducting investigations and solving puzzles, and it's done it to great effect. Players can interact with elements of their surrounding and collect evidence to piece together the events of a crime. You physically walk between points of interest and draw a holographic line connecting the relevant evidence together. Batman's a bit of a slow walker, but a recreation of the events courtesy of the Cal's holographic interface is a fitting reward for solving the conundrum. Another set piece involves fighting through a room full of thugs by inspecting them and then linking them to nearby objects, just like with connecting pieces of evidence. Once again, the Cal's holographic interface runs a simulation, so you can choose whether you prefer to slam a guard into a concrete pillar or throw a priceless art piece at his head. Once an attack plan is formulated, there's the execution phase, and this works like quick time event sequences in other Telltale games. Although Telltale has honed in on Batman's methodical preparation and tactical prowess for combat, this comes at the cost of feeling his raw power and ferociousness. Somewhere between pressing a button and watching Batman tear through goons, the energy dissipates. The disconnect deepens when you stop pressing buttons altogether and notice that Batman continues to lay waste to his enemies with little to no change in his performance. The only time you're punished for missing your cues is if it's the final blow, which needs to land to progress on to the next scene. Otherwise, you're just losing out on filling a meter used for a special cinematic attack. While not as distinct as the neon noir of The Wolf Among Us, Telltale's Batman has a gritty visual identity in keeping with the property. Thick, marker-like lines accentuate finer details in characters, and ambient lighting brings some vibrancy to the game. A wall of screen fills the Batcave with a futuristic blue hue, and in the Wayne Manor, a roaring fire brings warmth to the dark corners of the living room. 
Moonlight coats Batman's suit, cutting that iconic silhouette into the Gotham sky, and the dim street lamps create an air of danger on the seedy streets. Batman's outfit is particularly cool, with the stubby ears of Frank Miller's incarnation paying homage to his legacy, and Greg Capullo's streamlined biker suit style representing the more modern design. His glowing white eyes give him an imposing presence, making his victims look like deer caught in the headlights. Stay where you are! You're under arrest! While many fixate on breaking the Batman, Telltale wants to bring down Bruce Wayne, and it demonstrates an understanding that people and relationships are key to this. Episode 1 begins the process of unraveling him, and sets the stage to lay him bare. Impressively, by sticking to its strengths, Telltale also delivers on the experience of being Batman. Realm of Shadows establishes a compelling Bruce Wayne narrative, and is a worthy start to the series. We're excited to see what happens next. <laughs> 